Hello everyone, I'm Dark Mario Luigi and welcome back to more Let's Play of Amnesia and even though we completed the game we still have this DLC we can do. It's called Justine. It's pretty cool. Also, yeah, I'm using face cam with this as well, so let's get right into this. Alright. <sighs> I hope I complete this. Okay. One thing I hate about this DLC is because if you die, you won't have any chances to continue this, this game over completely. So yeah, I hope I do this. to the sound of my disembodied voice. It will serve you no purpose to look for me, for this is a voice from the past. I bid you welcome to my cabinet of perturbation. It is my study at the human psyche, specifically yours. A set of recordings have been prepared to chaperone you through the chambers ahead. There are a few parts to this study, and it is up to you, not only to pass, but to figure out what elements are important. Please go on. Move into the next chamber. Just remember, they can all be safe. There is always a way. Okay then. So, it's a, it's a recording, and I'm probably, probably guessing that that's Justine. I'm playing as a girl. Yeah, I know, it's pretty cool. Pretty sick. What's that? Salutation, Inspector Murdoch. As you very well know, the chief of police at the Colonies has turned down my request to see you just in for about a single my son away. Ever since I got the first son, all I my son is for saying his duty to his family and friends for the same school. The law seems to be unable to find a crime within the realm of murder. I don't resolve this thing to actions. I will ask you to receive Dr. Victor Fonia later this week. He is a respectful and honest. Ready? So, it's in here. I can move 
interest. Oh, it seems like there's like three swimming or something. Oh, I'm all right. Oh, that sucks. Oh, no. Forgive me. Just see my love. I know I'm not as talented as Milo or as strong as Brazil, but I'm certainly my, certain my love is true. Not. Do you want my scars tell you so? I will continue to kill myself as long as it pleases you. I would even kill Bazel if you wish. I know I know you say you like it, but he's hurting you. you I will trick him to consume the brown my Poor Justine, I'll help you. Just ask me to help. Always. Alright then. Apparently he loves Justine. We have a lover. Yay. Let's check him here. Whoever you are, if you could help me, I would be much obliged. Okay. So we got something we can do. Help me! Please help me! There's quite a few things you can actually do. There's like you can you can either save the person or you can kill them. I'm gonna try and see if I can save him because. I'm not a bad person. I'm a good Samaritan. I might show you later how to save them, I just don't want to take the time to figure that out. Whatever. On this tunnel here. Congratulations for coming this far. I'm so excited for you. I do hope you managed to save Monsieur Fournier. He was a friend, and a colleague of my papa, you know. Friendly fellow, a real bon garçon, but frail of mind. He puts up an impressive front, but it is all an act, I assure you. Please, go on. We are just getting started. Okay then. I pity about I'm killing him though. First day of the conservatory, many Parisians had gathered last night to find the performance of Arlon Bertuso. Well, I'll do very good. It is to be the grand premiere of several new arrangements of songs by fellow composer George Bizet, 
but that evening took an unexpected turn. The melody made me turn up invisibly intoxicated. The smile only cried as the bottle was jerked to plus the strings. The audience seemed to give me at first, but started to build the man on stage and see the, the face of the beloved song. The rose it of the uh, stress apparently got the best of the young musician as he threw himself his bow into the audience and it finally collapsed. Mademoiselle Justine Farbell was according to rumors when my play involved with Monroe de Rain bring me with quiet news by the night when her beautiful friends resolved to arrive in a long place race and carry him off the stage. The evening was saved by another music by the musician at the comfort territory he was able to perform to perform a most delightful impromptu when certain melody bring me in absence. The audience showered their savers with praise calls for him fun for were awarded with special service by the often bad and tropical. Are you in some serious stuff? Oh, that's creepy in general. No, right? Pretty creepy. Let's go. Library is only made of her, her father, reminded her of all, all those hours spent there, spent there had fostered a sense of shelter. Alrighty then! Cool. This has been going well, the most long term and in a sense the most performance one is the white box. Having just need to choose a slide essentially a mood for every day is a great way to save a large overall look of my own mind. It definitely reads the things into the slides that I am not foreseen. Her remarkable imagination turns the characters into just a company and she is able to effortlessly reuse all her experiences into one of of the four pair two slides. Using the puzzle log has grown more difficult as, as she tends to always choose the two slides and characters facing the same way. I always I have asked her why that this is, but she does seem to fully understand why I'm asking. Okay then. Something about slides. In the box. Even though you have a lantern, you like never use it. It's like sad. So sad why you never I never use lantern. She didn't give me lantern if you don't use it. Just sad. Let's do this. On this next piece, you should be looking for some divine inspiration. Time to delve into your spiritual side. What do you see? Is the man begging for mercy? Or is he being blessed? Perhaps both. Father used to say there were no right answers. Have the light guide you. Hey then. Pretty cool. Ooh, hot. Must break. Here. Slide number two. It's over here. Nothing really of interest. Just in AJ, today I played outside with Claire as she, we saw a bird pick at a snail. It car carried it off and landed on the lawn fence. The snail had a shell and it cut. Claire cried and I comforted her. The new maids heard us and came up out and scolded Claire for coming with me. The bird told, took off into the air. Today I was the one with the open eye. Just in AJ night. Today I played with the slides from, from Father's light box. Above all, I liked the man sitting to the right. Father asked why I was sitting and see things I like. Today I was the right one. 
Just they made 10 photos that I put the wrong slide each day when I made the chamber and made 5. She wanted me to pick the one with the sword while I picked the man on the right. I never picked the one with the sword. Today I was on one meal. Just in age 11, today father came from up me and my room. I still couldn't look at him in the eyes. He said I shouldn't feel ashamed of him that I only tried to kill the one left by her mother. When he wasn't looking at it, took the star stone from the scorch and today I was the one with the sword. Okay, who, who are you? Who's there? Okay, I'm gonna do deal with that in the next part. So if you like this part, be sure to subscribe You're to my channel. Uh, be sure to subscribe You're to my channel. Leave a like and a comment and else if you want to share updates from my channel, share them on Twitter. It'll be in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time for more and Asia Justine. So yeah, have a wonderful day guys and peace out.